and pin number 4 is the negative one. So minus BC. Okay, so for this alpha mean and maximum we can apply. Okay, so 50 equal to plus 15. So still you can go, even 18 only it will work. Don't go behind that alpha. Okay, so maximum voltage that you can apply 50. So you know, I'll give you some few characteristics of the uh, up arm, ideal up arm. The current entering into the up arm terminal is by the pin number 2, 1, 3, or 0, ideal up arm. So no current entering into the up arm terminal. Let's define these currents. So this is, let's say, IB minus IB plus. For ideal up arm, these two must be 0. Okay, so IB minus and IB plus. Okay. Okay, these two currents must be 0. Okay, for ideal up arm. Okay. <coughs> And one more important thing is the virtual ground concept. I have heard about the virtual ground. Ground, you know that virtual ground. It's not real ground, it's like a real ground. It's kind of okay. So <coughs> as I already told you that, okay, so output, let's say the two inputs. So let us consider the two inputs. Uh, V1 and V2. Okay, so V1 and V2. The output is here. Output is V0. A, A is the gain of the output. Okay? So this can mathematically can be written. The V0 equal to A times V1 minus V2. So with this expression clearly tells that it amplifies the difference of the two signals. We have V1, V2 are the two signals. Okay, where A is the gain of the output. Okay, so if people use the IC741C kind of up -up. You know gain of up -up. Is the IC741C. So up -up, uh, IC what do we No? What is the gain of Papa for this I is the C? Gain. Open look gain. Any idea? No idea. But here 2 into 10 power 5. The gain is huge. Okay, so 2 into 10 power 5. Okay, there is no unit for gain. Okay, so okay, so 2 into 10 power 5. Okay, so now you tell me. <coughs> but one more thing. What is the maximum upper supply voltage? Plus 15 and that? Minus 15. That you keep in mind. So that means that the V naught can go either plus 15 or minus 15. Oh yes, the negative side will go up to minus 15, the positive side will go up to plus 15. It can't go behind minus 15 and behind uh, plus 15. Is that clear to you? Oh yes, so maximum voltage this is possible either plus or minus 15. Is that clear to you? Oh yes, fine. So plus or minus 15. Now if A is very large, agreed? A is very large. This is very small. So very small divided by very large. What is that V1 minus V2 become? Very, very small. You are, huh? so you are uh, dividing very small by very large. Point. Very, very zero. Small. Mathematically zero. Is it clear? Okay, so it becomes zero. Is it clear? Okay, so this I can write. So B2 equal to what? V1. So now the V2 equal to? V1. V1. For example, but this is true only in the feedback. Okay. Okay, suppose in the feedback mode, if we connect the V1 to zero, let's say V1 is connected to ground or not? Is it really connected to ground? Yes. Okay, using this, V1, since V1 is connected to ground, V2 follows the V1. V2 also connected to ground, but not real ground. It's called the virtual ground. It's virtually connected to ground. Is the concept is clear? Okay, so now I will summarize. There are two golden rules are there. One is the virtual ground. Another one is the current entering into the upper terminal is zero. Okay, the two currents, IB minus and IB zero. Okay, fine. Is this clear? Okay. <coughs> So we can use this guy for so many applications with CPU applications. Okay? There are a lot of applications. So you can't explain all those applications. It's not possible in 10 minutes. Okay, so let's start with a small application. Okay, inverting. Suppose you want to invert the signals. Okay, so you need a feedback. Why do we go for feedback? Any idea, any idea? But the gain of the up arm is, uh, see, you see the, the characteristic of the up arm, it looks like this. It's a kind of linear characteristic, it's an arm switching kind of characteristic. Is it linear or non-linear? This kind of characteristic. See, any device in this kind of characteristic, is it linear or non-linear? Non-linear, that's a problem. Okay, so either, uh, so, see, for, we will define the V1 and V2, this V2, this is V1, let's say this is a V1, V2 is a error. Okay, so V1 minus V2 is there. If V is a small positive, 
since our gain is very large, you will go to that plus 50. So, our will be charge rate. Oh, yes, this is probably due to non linearity. Oh, yes, suppose if the V is small negative, what will happen? It will go to 9, right? Uh, it never ever follow the linear uh, relationship. Okay, to make it linear, you need a feedback. Clear? When you need feedback? Okay, so now I put my apartment feedback mode at apartment. Let's see. Okay, so you connect in inverting mode. Inverting, where should I apply the input? I want to invert the signal. Where should I apply the input? Second terminal. Ah, at the inverting terminal. Is that clear? Okay, so fine. You cannot directly apply, so you have to apply through a register. Okay? Fine. So, let's say this is R1. Okay? Let's say this is R1. So, want uh, inverting output, non-inverting non, non must be grounded. That is very important. Okay, fine. Okay, so you apply input here. And need a feedback. What kind of feedback? Negative feedback. Okay. You know what is negative feedback, right? Okay, so let's see message output at the output, output terminals. Okay, so now we will use the, those two golden rules and we will get the relationship between V0 and V8. Okay, so what is the V0 by V8 for this circuit? What do, what do we call this V0 by V8? The ratio of the two voltage, output by input, is called the gain. Since we are dividing the voltage, so we call the voltage gain. A suffix V. Okay? V stands for the voltage. A is for the gain. A V is the voltage. Okay? So you will find that. Is this gain is with feedback or without feedback? With feedback. Without feedback, we know that 204 pi. Correct? Okay, this is with feedback. Now we will understand that. So one of the golden rules says that what it says? When you operate the uh, 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 above feedback mode, it follows the virtual ground. What is called virtual? If this potential, so what are the potential? The same will appear here. Okay, so you, since this is zero, what is this? Also? Zero. Zero. But virtual is zero, so not that. Huh? Okay, is that clear? Okay, now you tell me, what is the current through the R1? Register R1? Let's say the, I'll define the current I1. What is the current through the register R1? What is the current through the register R1? I1. Huh? VI by R. R, correct? Okay, so current through the VI by R, correct? Okay, so, so and also one more golden rule says that the current enter at the up -up terminal is zero. So where this current will go, this VI by R? Huh. It will go to where? R. Feedback, through feedback, correct? Okay, so, correct? Is it correct? The same current I1 will flow through the register R, correct? Feedback register. So what is the output voltage with respect to ground now? Or not. Or not. So it's not like that, guys. Okay, suppose you have a register, the current through the register is R. Uh, the current through the register is R. Okay. So I myself, so if I put it, I'll make this current and the plus into the register and leaves the minus. You keep in mind. Okay, so pass you have Okay, suppose the current is flow from left to right. Suppose it flow right to left, and then this will be positive, left will be negative. Is it clear? Oh yes. Is it clear or not clear? But here the, the current through the register R2 is a left to right or right to left? Left to right. Then what is the what is the what is the what is the what is the, what is the voltage at the output node? What is V naught? V naught equal to minus R two V naught equal to R one sir. Aiyya. Oh no. Aiyya dar pal. See, simply you cannot say aiyya dar. Suppose the current is, suppose if this is plus, this is minus. So what is the, suppose this is ground. If the current is coming left to right, right? So what is the voltage at this point now with respect to ground? Yeah. I in R. Suppose it's going like this, what is the voltage at this point now? Minus there. Minus I in R. Now you tell me what is the V naught? Minus I in R. Minus I in R. Correct? Correct? Is it clear or not clear? Yes. What is I want? Minus VI by R, correct? Not minus L. VI by R, correct? Delta R2. What is the gain now? V0 by VI? Minus R2 by R. That's it. Okay, so this is the gain expression. Okay? It's simply the ratio of the two registers. Correct? Okay. Suppose, uh, let's see. Suppose if I, uh, instead of uh, inverting, if I apply the input at uh, non inverting, what will happen? Differential. So we got minus R2 by R1. This sign, negative sign clearly indicates that it's inverting. Or it is, there is only DD shift, correct? Okay. <coughs> this is R2. 
Okay, so now instead of inverting, I apply the non-inverting. What will happen now? Anyone? Ah, the same voltage will appear here, correct? Virtual ground. Mm -hmm. Correct? You apply KCL and VI. What is KCL and VI? Mm -hmm. There are three branches. Right side is going to up on, left side is R1 and the feedback is R2. So what is the current through reach? What is the current through the upper? Zero. I told you, these two are the golden rules I told you. What is the current through the upper? Zero. What is the current through the feedback? What is the current through the feedback? Suppose you have the resistance actually. So these two are the floating node assuming that. Let's say V1, V2. Okay, so you may not be knowing all these things. So okay, floating nodes are grounded node. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's say this R, the current through the register is I. What is I now? V1 minus V2 by R. Okay. Okay. Hmm. okay, the current leaving V1, which means uh, V1 has a higher potential. Okay, than the V2. Suppose the current is leaving V2, then V2 has a higher potential, right? Okay, now you tell me. What is the current through the R2? So R2. V0 minus V. I am my assumption all the current are leaving, assuming. Oh. Now you tell me. V I minus V0. V I minus, that's it, simple. V I minus? V0. V0 by? R2. R2. Okay, what is the current through R1? R1 by V. V I by R1, that's it. Is there any other current? No. Okay, so now what is this V0 by V I become? 1 plus R2 by R. Clear? So this expression has no sign change. Obviously, it's not inverting. Correct? It's not inverting the signal. Correct? Oh yes, called the non-inverting. Oh yes. Now we'll do. What is the differential? Then I will do that. Differential need uh, two more uh, registers. I guess we'll connect like this. I so this is a V1. This is a V2. Correct? Let's, say, let's uh, define this potential is V prime. So what is the V prime in terms of V1? You tell me division rule. Voltage division rule at least you know, right? What is V prime? What is V prime? V1 into R2 by R1 plus R2, correct? Other is. Other is. Is it right? Huh? Okay. I will study superposition theorem. At least you know the superposition. Oh, you need not worry about the superposition theorem. Okay. The same potential will appear here, V prime. Correct? Okay. So, so what is the current through the R1 now? Tell me. V1, R2, divided by R1 plus R2 minus V2 by R2. Clear? Not clear, huh? What is the current through R2 plus? Tell me. V1 R2 divided by R1 plus R2 minus V0 by so not R2, R1. Okay, so divided by R2 equal to 0. Okay? So if we simplify, you can easily you can show that. So V0 by V equal to R2 by R1 into into what? Why is nothing? Okay, so you can show that V0 equal to not VVA. V1 minus V2. That's it. Different Okay, so you do it. You simplify, so you will get that. Uh, this is simple like ACL. Uh, if you use the superposition, uh, directly you can get it. Okay, so what is the output voltage due to V2? What is the output voltage due to V1? And sum them, you will get the uh, superposition output. Any doubt in this? How to get the expression? Difficulty is connecting the circuit to the connection. How to go ahead? <laughs> so, you have any problem in the, the breadboard connection? Sir, anything? Sir, so, CB breadboard is good. Uh, I don't know how to connect it, sir. How to connect it? In the circuit, yes. put the 
சார் எங்கெல்லாம் கிரவுண்ட் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்றது So, Ali, you know about the bread board, right? Okay, so generally what we people will do, okay, so we we'll keep that, uh, there are two rows at the, uh, the top rows and bottom rows, right? Okay, so these two rows are used for the power nets. Okay, so bottom is for the negative supply or ground. Okay, so the bottom, so the top one is for the positive power. Is that clear? Okay, suppose you have a dual power supply, you know what is dual power supply? What's the problem with this? Okay. So, what is dual power supply? Single power supply, you know that, uh, single battery. Okay. So, if you connect like this, it's called a single power supply. So, this unbalanced power supply is called. Okay. So, it usually is measured uh, with respect to ground. Okay. So, this is called a single power supply. So, you have only one battery. Okay. Let's say the battery voltage is, in this case, is the V, V1. You have only one battery. Okay. So, so what is dual power supply? It's a balanced power supply. And they are both positive and negative. Okay, so positive as well as negative. How to create? Suppose for that you need a two different sources. Or you have two different uh, batteries. Okay. Let's say that you have two different batteries. Or you have two different RPS. Or, right? Or two different terminals. You can say like that. Okay, suppose. Uh, let's say that. Two different. Right? Two or different. Okay, so obviously each will get the plus or minus terminal. Correct? It's a battery. Hmm. Right? So this is the plus, it's minus. It's a plus or minus, right? So one should be common or grounded. One must be grounded, right? Okay, so common, whichever you want it in the ground, you have to sort it. You sort these two, but, right? So you can assume this is a ground. Assume that is ground. Okay? So and then this will be, what is this? The potential with respect to this positive or negative? Positive. Positive. This will be a very positive battery. What is the potential at this point with respect to ground? Negative. 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 So this point will be a very what is that? Negative battery. That's it, simple. Okay, even if you have a single battery also, you can create a dual power supply. And that is also simple. Suppose you have only one battery. You have only one battery. Okay, let's say that, uh, so you have a battery of 10 volt. But I want a dual power supply. Okay, so what do you get uh, a dual power supply from a single battery? That's it. So for that, you need to use two capacitors and two registers. Very important. Identical capacitor and identical registers. Let's say if you use the two identical uh, registers, what will happen? If both are R, so right? Assuming center point is grounded. So what is the potential at this point? You tell me now. Huh? What do you what do you get? Uh, five volt. Okay, the plus five minus five is a kind of right? Okay, so huh? Okay. So what you, what will you do? Okay, so uh, uh, if we use simple battery, uh, simple register will have some problem. So we'll use connect the capacitor as well. If supply have any noise or any ripples, it will go through the ground via capacitor. Okay? That's why you need a capacitor. Okay, so this point is joint. Then let's say the CC, two identical capacitors. You know that if we'll use a polarized capacitor, you know that capacitor will have polarity. Okay, so the plus of the capacitor should be connected to the positive power supply. Negative should be grounded. Oh, yeah. Similarly, the plus minus of this capacitor should be connected to the negative power supply and the plus should be ground. Oh, yes. So what is the potential at uh, V1 with respect to ground? You tell me now. Plus 5. What is the potential at V2 with respect to uh, ground? Minus 5. Minus 5. What is the difference? What is the difference? Still is 10 only. Okay. Uh, clear or not clear? Clear. Uh, yes. Okay. Dual, single power supply have 10 volt. Dual also have the same 10 only. The difference will be 10 only. Okay, so but what I done, so my uh, five, 5 minus 5 I got. Uh, but difference is still is minus 10 only. Plus 10 only. Correct? This is called a dual power supply. Dual supply can make it. So if you have one, stop it. Bad battery. Or you have RPS, this is the method. Clear or unclear? Yes. You need how many wires? Four wires. Any doubt in the real power supply? Fine. The real power supply is okay. So now we have two wires. So now we have two wires. How many wires? Yes, sir. The real power supply, how much volt can be started? 
Yeah, it's such a thing. The minimum of is the record of plus or minus is over. That I told you, maximum I already told you. You can use up to 18 volt, and I'll kill a problem by up to 20. So you can use maximum 18 volt. Not go, even 18 volt is not safe volt. Don't go to the behind of 18 volt. Okay, so plus or minus is true. You can use up to uh, plus or minus 20. Okay, so these are the two rows, you know that. There's a, a top row, a bottom row. So now, so I can. <coughs> okay, so this I'm going to use as a positive power supply, correct? So positive net. So let's say for this example, I have taken 12 volt. Or you can take even 15 or whatever you want. The number should be between 6 to 15. Okay, you can choose it. Okay, so the next, uh, this is the bottom row. Oh yes, there are two rows are in that. Oh yes, so one is you can use it for the negative. Another one should be for the ground. Yeah. That's it. Oh yeah, don't connect. Otherwise, it will confuse you. You will take in between. Oh yeah, so you use the bottom row, the ground are of a negative power supply. The top is the positive power supply. Is it clear? Okay. This is one. Yes. So now you have to connect the. What do you want to make? It's kind of simple circuit, correct? Right? How do you make it? You know the way this is supposed to be connected to ground. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> you know, one more instance, correct? We connect it to the output mode, correct? V0. These two are there, but it as far as these is. Is a V1, V2, R1, R2, sorry, R1, R2, R2. Correct, sir? Now we connect this to ground, correct? Okay. So now how do you apply the voltage here in these two terminals? Always you have to apply with respect to water, ground. No? That means it's connected like this. Negative should be connected to where? Ground. Very good. That's it. Clear? Joint. Next step. That is last step. How about? Okay. Fine. You put on. This output should be connected to output mode, right? Clear? Any doubt? Okay, so this 3R, this should be connected to where? Here. Yeah. Two should be connected to where? Here. Yeah. Okay, so this you know that plus uh, VCC is. Yeah. And uh, minus VCC. Pin number 2 and pin number 3. Sorry. Pin number 2, 3, this is pin number 6. Okay. So now uh, this should be connected to where? This one minus two should be connected to? That's it. What's the problem? Don't place the components in these two rows, uh, top and bottom. You have to uh, place in between. The, there are two rows, na? vertical rows. You can place this. These two rows further to place in the components. And there is uh, one more thing, sir. Okay, so there are 10 kind of small bugs there, right? The about 5, these two are isolated. Uh, you know, the, okay, so here the power is vertically, sorry, horizontally distributed. Huh? But here the power is vertically distributed. That you keep in mind. Huh? That means these all pins are sorted. Okay, the, all the vertical pins are sorted. But these two rows are done, all the horizontals are sorted. About the center is isolated. Is that clear? That's all about uh, the bread. I went down. Okay. It's not convinced? Okay. I don't know, Amma. Doubt, any doubt? Anything you can ask. While well, doing this, say, I don't know. Out of you will come. You can ask. Okay. Every time you cannot come. It's not possible. It's simple only. Uh, you do one thing. Whenever you have doubt, uh, you know my cabin. So I'm in 8th uh, floor, 8th floor, 6th lab. I'll be in my cabin. Okay, so. Thank you.